What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Hot Mess Budgets. Welcome if you're new and if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for coming back, stopping by, and visiting your girl. Today, we are going to be doing a weekly check-in. Please don't ask me what week this is for because y'all already know I don't know, okay? Just know that we checking in for the week, okay? <laughs> let's hop right into it but before we do you already know what to do go ahead and hit that like subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss when i upload these hot mess videos and let's get into it all right y'all so um disclaimer whatever pre-warning i don't know what you want to call it um one i have a headache so i'm trying to come with the energy y'all but i just i don't know right now okay and this ring light all these lights it's getting to me i got a backache okay i've been working my butt off at the gym and then also <laughs> we are getting some pipes dug up on the side of our house so if you hear a lot of noise that's what that is if you hear dexter barking he's agitated because he wants to see what's going on because he knows he like his mama okay anyway um so hopping into our budget so as y'all can see i already have some stuff listed here i did record this okay however because of my issues going on with my phone i deleted it and i forgot that i recorded it specifically for my weekly check-in so i'm just gonna run through these transactions real quick and then we're gonna get into the other transactions so on friday um we made our deposit for our cruise in march that was 200 dollars um taken away from travel um, over the weekend, I got some gas. That was $34. If you follow me on Instagram, I was kind of deciding on what I wanted my cheat meal to be for Friday. And um, it was between Wingstop or Butter Chicken. And the fact that I've had Butter Chicken every week for the past month, I was like, maybe I should just get some Wingstop. So I just got some Wingstop and then um, I got some crumble cookie too. Mm -hmm, yes, I did. Anyway, the wing stop came from my restaurant budget and the crumble cookie came from my spending budget. Somebody come get me together, okay? Get me together so I can stop doing this. All right, so on the 13th, I also um, got some groceries. So I'm gonna just put market here. And we're gonna put groceries for week one. The groceries came to $95. So yes, I went over budget. Um, I normally budget myself $80 for each week. Um, so I went over $15. I'm going to put this in red. So I am starting to think I probably need to increase my week one grocery budget because it seems that like for the past couple months, I want to say I've been going over budget with my uh, week one groceries. I mean, I know groceries are becoming more expensive, so that's probably a big reason. But I know another reason is because typically when week one grocery comes around, that means that... Um, it's the end of the week and I need I need more groceries than I would in week two. So um, I'm thinking about increasing my grocery budget the next time I get paid. So we'll see about that. So what I did was I went ahead and took the $15 from my week two groceries. So I'm going to notate that I took it from groceries week one. I mean, I took it, the transaction was groceries week one because that's where I, I put it towards. And I'm taking it from groceries week two, $15. So we should have $65 left in our week two grocery budget, which should be enough to get me through um, until we get, until I get paid again, which is, which will be next Friday. So uh let's see what else did we do um okay y'all so the last transaction that we're going to take from our wallet is actually a transaction made at target so i had to do a target run had to get some stuff from my personal envelope and then also household um household wise i spent five dollars i know look at me over here behaving inside of target who is she so um i gave myself twenty dollars for my household so i should have fifteen dollars left over so that's going to be it for all of our wallet transactions everything else came from my spending binder so we will hop into that after i do my highlighting 
right, so now what I'm going to do is go into my wallet and make sure these numbers are right. So the first thing that we're going to check is our groceries. I'm so sorry, y'all. If it's loud, I'm so sorry. I guess I'm filming this at a bad time of the day, but when I get off work, I'm going to lay down because girl, this head is just pounding. Okay, so $65 should be left in our week two groceries so 20 40 50 60 1 2 3 4 5 so we do have 65 left in our week two groceries um also with our gas i should have had six dollars left um that six dollars is for my week one gas i still do have my 40 dollars for week two so i am going to leave that in there but i'm going to take this six dollars out and put it into my bills binder um just go ahead and get rid of it now then in my household um i should have 15 dollars 10 15 20 i'm going to take the five dollars that is going to go back onto my credit card and then as y'all can see my restaurant and my spending um i've already taken that back to the bank okay so now what we're going to do is move on to our spending binder so for our personal, we spent $17 at Target. So that is going to be what we need to that one's messed up. take back to the bank. This, of course, was made on my credit card. So this actually was 60, 66. Okay, so on the 14th, we took $17 away. So 65 minus 7. So we should have $48 left. So let's just take the 17. I need to make change for a 5. So I'm just going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make it easy on myself right now. Um, so we're going to take 17, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my God. Why did I just do that, y'all? Oh my God, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna leave it at that, but I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna make change somewhere else. Where can I get $10 from? Um, that's not in there. I know I got $10. I should have $10 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. Thank God for this, the ones and the fives that I have been putting in here. I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, I'm gonna put this back down in here. We're gonna revisit this envelope, we're gonna revisit it. Okay, so now I'm going to take <laughs> all that just to take I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to remember to take smaller bills out for some of these because I don't know what's up with me and these bigger bills. So I need to take 17. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Going back to the bank. So I have three credit cards, y'all. One is $1,000. One is 650, I thought it was 500, but it's 650. And then the other one is $300. So what I plan on doing is once I get those paid off is using the $300 for like my weekly expenses um, and some of the 650 credit card, I'll use those for my weekly expenses. And then my thousand dollar credit card will be used for my bills. And when I say that, I mean, I'm going to pay the bills and like, you know, the, the groceries and stuff like that. I'm going to pay with the credit card. And then at the end of the week, when I do my weekly check-ins, I'm going to take the cash from wherever I spent it and put it back onto the credit card. I, I said I was going to do this before, but I didn't really do it. Um, but I saw somewhere that is supposedly the best thing to do, um, especially for your credit. So we'll see. So 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We actually have $49 left over. I don't know what I just did there, but guess what? 
did we do that right? 66 minus 17. Oh, that's right. I guess I didn't put it right in the calculator. So we have $49 left over in our personal envelope. And y'all, I'm so mad because when I went to Target, I knew I needed some more lotion and I did not pick it up. So I gotta go back to Target. So that means I have to mentally prepare to not spend all my money. Um, Dexter, he also, also, <laughs> Dexter got a bath on Monday, so let me go ahead and put that in here. So that was 65, it actually was 55, but I handed the envelope to my husband and I was like, um, I don't know how much his bath is, I think it's 60 plus a, plus a tip, so that's what's in this envelope. I was prepared to pay a $5 tip, this man gave that woman a $10 tip. I guess, keep it, okay? Shoot, he smelled good, he felt good. I guess. I guess I'm tipping ten dollars now. Jesus. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're good there. I think that was all the transactions. Yeah, that's all the transactions from here. And then now um you guys will see this when I upload my um debt, my second episode of my debt series uh but i will be making my first student loan payment on monday so i'm just gonna go ahead and take this cash out and just take it back to the bank that way i could just i'll probably make the payment before monday i'll probably go to the banks either saturday because that's when i gotta go out and get my hair done so i'll probably put this in my account on saturday and pay it on saturday so as for this six dollars is going into our adt envelope I took that away from my gas budget because I doubt that I'm going to be using it. So let's see, we added $6. We were at 32, so now we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. I'm pretty sure I just wrote the wrong dates on some of these. I think I wrote it that it's the 17th, the 17th and it's the 19th. I'm finna go take some Excedrin, have me a large glass of water and lay my butt down. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, let me count the cash. Oh my God. So let me count how much we taken back to the bank. We got 51, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. $122 going back to the bank. Stay tuned for my second episode of my debt series. It's coming on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. It's looking like I'm gonna be posting at least, at least two videos a week. So fingers crossed I can stay on top. I'm setting myself reminders and alarms so I can remember to record these videos for y'all and get them uploaded within a timely manner because you ask, I'm going to deliver, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.